A woman in southwest Florida was mistakenly shot and killed by police officials in Punta Gorda, Florida. This was during what's referred to as a Citizen Academy program where they were supposed to uh, simulate a police encounter with a bad guy. Now in this case, Mary Knowlton, who is the victim, was part of this act. She was role playing along with this cop and unfortunately uh, she was accidentally shot and killed in the process. Now on this night, the group of 35 would tour the station and talk with officers, an essential part of academy curriculum that has gained popularity across the country amid a heated national debate about police violence. Now the whole point of these programs is to kind of give the community a better understanding of what police go through when they're doing their jobs. And it's supposed to kind of you know, lead to some community, I wouldn't say policing, but community understanding, right? So there isn't this us versus them mentality. Now, unfortunately, this police academy went wrong because an innocent person was shot and killed. Now, the hosting officers choose two students to role play a lethal force simulation, a scenario intended to demonstrate how and when officers decide to pull the trigger. Knowlton played the victim and a Punta Gorda police officer played a bad guy. These scenarios are usually safe, acted out with either fake or empty weapons. The officer, whose name has not been released, was placed on administrative leave, police said. The chief uh, has asked uh, the Florida Department of Law Enforcement to conduct an independent investigation. So during this uh, role play, apparently the cop used a gun and he didn't think that there was any ammunition in it, but there was, and that's how she got shot and killed. So uh, you mentioned something really important. This is kind of a response to all of the, um, all of the uh, police violence that's been occurring in America as of late that we're really, that's being highlighted. And this is actually one of those programs that's pretty good because normally it's, it's honest intention is to, you know, get uh, the community more oriented with the police force, they get to, uh, you know, engage with one another and mm -hmm. there's a little bit of camaraderie. And it's really unfortunate, but we shouldn't immediately dismiss these sort of programs just because this one instance occurred. No, and it does think... seem to me like an honest mistake, a really sad and really tragic situation, but an honest mistake at that. I, I feel like these programs are great. I have nothing against these yeah. programs. Um, I think that in 100% of these programs, they should be using fake guns. They should yeah. not be using real guns that may or may not be empty. No, you need to use fake guns in any and all circumstances involving role playing and trying to get the community to understand what you're going through. I don't know why they decided to use this gun. I agree with you, Haas. You know, in this case, it was an accident, and I feel like we've become so desensitized by police involved shootings that show some malice. That in this case, I'm not I'm not justifying it or ex excusing it, yeah. but I think intent does matter, and this was a genuine accident, and the police department feels horrible about it. Yeah, and you know, um, you bring up a good point about these are community members. This wasn't a police academy training. There's no reason for them to have had loaded guns, real guns there, because this was just you know she was trying to learn more, educate herself about what the police. Uh, force does in her community, which is great. I like that Hassan you brought up. We shouldn't condemn these programs I think this is a really great tool, but you need to look at this for who the people are that are attending these programs I think this would be a very different story You know if if she had been you know training to become a police officer then absolutely I understand why you would need to use real guns, but but this you don't use wooden guns It's just supposed to teach um it, you know, educate citizens about what's going on here. You don't. I, I really think you could just almost fake it. Use your hands or whatever, just to explain to them if this what if this was a situation. This is what the gun would kind of do. You know, just yeah. to be extra safe. Because again, these are people that are just trying to educate themselves. They shouldn't have to be worried about being in the line of fire. It's ridiculous, and it makes my stomach turn. And and it's look. It's obviously very ironic that one of the main points of having these academies is to let citizens understand you know, why cops have such a difficult job and why, you know, in some cases they have to make a split second decision as to whether or not they, they pull a gun on someone or, or shoot someone. And um, in the process of doing so, they accidentally kill an innocent person. It's right? also, so it's counterproductive to what they wanted to yeah. do. But again, 
intent matters. Intent matters a great deal for me in terms of you know judging the wrongdoing of someone, uh, someone and, and their actions. And in this yeah. case, it was a terrible mistake. And they should learn from it. Stop using real guns. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, another instance of guns are just very horribly dangerous, even in the hands of trained professionals. Yeah. At this point, these police uh, officers are still in training, or some of them are not, but. Still, guns are just dangerous. Accidents happen when you have guns. That's why uh, a lot of gun violence not only occurs between police officers or between violent criminals amongst themselves, but accidental shoots at your house when your child gets a hold of your gun or it, when it, your gun inappropriately goes off and shoots someone in the face. Yeah, exactly. So guns are bad. Surprise. You can never be too cautious when it comes to guns. Here's what won't happen to you if you're a TYT member. Are you kicking me out the door? You're kicking me out the door. But we're not going to kick you out the door. We welcome you. Be part of independent media. Be the Young Turks. TYTnetwork.com slash join.